alive on Long Island. Plus, all you need to know about protecting your skin in the great outdoors. I'm Elizabeth Hassig. And I'm Elisa DiStefano. We're so excited to be here today at the Tanglewood Preserve in Rockville Center on Long Island. It's uh, just south of the Southern State Parkway. If you want to visit about a half a mile from the Rockville Center train station. That's right. There's a little twist and turn to get here, but then all of a sudden it opens up. And this is just incredible. We got a little sneak peek ahead of this, but to actually see it finish is something else and if you look behind us we made these little emu friends <laughs> so we <laughs> named them after ourselves yes we're actually going to have a naming contest so but. i think the, the blonde or one should be elizabeth so that's elizabeth yes. and the darker one yes. should be elisa what do you think yes. i don't know they're <laughs> Our emu spirit animals? Yes, I don't know. yes, they're very charming, these <laughs> So two. there is an outdoor part to this exhibit with lots of great stuff, and we're going to take you inside in just a minute Can't because wait. it's incredible. But we've both been spending a lot of time outside, and we're yes. actually going to talk a little bit about sunscreen because... My tan just like comes out. There's not really See, I don't. I, how is that? I'm the one that's 100% Italian, yeah, and I I'm just Irish, burn yeah. and peel pretty much, and every single freckle. I think I look a little tan because my freckles just connect. Yeah, but that's I don't what it think is. I actually get tan <laughs> ever or at all. And you had a good time. You guys have been going to the beach. You had your husband's yeah. birthday. You know what? Because we can't, it's we're so busy with work in the summer, we can't take an actual vacation. So we're trying to do like these like little mini, I say like little mini like joyful hours at the beach or at the bay. Luckily we live so close that we can go. But it's always a struggle trying to get out the door. I need to pack a beach bag that's ready because I'm constantly throwing in stuff and I need to figure out a better way to sunscreen my son. So we're going to get some help with yeah, that today. Luckily we'll have that. I'm really excited because we just did um, the Toby Keith concert over the weekend. Had so much fun. I really, in complete honesty, I only knew like one song ahead of it. Red so Solo you, Cup. That's the one. How did you I know? To... <laughs> that was it. And I we actually never made sing. it all the way to Ever. the front for that song, which was kind of cool. And you went but... to Jones Beach. Yes. And it was just, it was so awesome. And now this weekend is Luke Bryan, and it's going to be my son's first concert ever. So I, I followed Elisa's advice and got him a cowboy hat, so we'll see how it goes. I don't but know. I think accessories make everything more fun. You know, it kind of does, <laughs> right? But I think both of our sons are going to enjoy this when they go yes. inside. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Get ready. I walked in, and all I could say is, wow. I mean, this really incredible. I can I cannot wait to bring my son here to see this. You did a fantastic job. So we are inside now the exhibit called, you'll never guess, Dinosaurs. But that has an exclamation, <laughs> an exclamation point. point. <laughs> and it really does. I mean, just the sheer height, yes. the grandeur. It, it's incredible. And then I look at these beautiful paintings. This is hand painted on yep, the wall. Every one of them. And so much attention to detail. So much. It's incredible. Like I see the Ankylosaur babies behind the Ankylosaur. I can't believe how much you know about the Ankylosaur. <laughs> <laughs> so impressed. I'm like, wait, which one? <laughs> but you're the real expert, yes. and and you have been part of this entire process in making this really come to life, so that kids are now going to be able to experience. So, what was it like in making this? You know, it's when you do, as you know, what you do for a living, and you have so much fun. It makes it great. So, we looked at ways to present dinosaurs and live animals together. We're doing an exhibit really about adaptations because kids and uh, their parents and grandparents need to know about how do animals and dinosaurs live in the world around them? How did the dinosaurs live? So when putting this together, we were thinking about how do we present dinosaurs and animals in a way that teaches them about the animal itself, not just this is a T-Rex, but What's so spectacular about the T-Rex? And so, T -Rex? so w like, what's right next to this dinosaur is something that's alive right now. Right, we have two <laughs> baby alligators. Wait, where They're are over they? See them in the corner? No. They're just babies. Oh, I see them. But, oh. but this area. Oh, they're cute. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want one, like, <laughs> swimming in my bathtub, but maybe so, these guys. Yeah, this part of the exhibit's about how do dinosaurs either become prey, protect themselves as prey, armored, the Ankylosaurus, or how are they predators, Wait, like the alligator? I don't think he likes what you have I to know, say. <laughs> no, you have to watch out for his tail. That's Ooh. the big thing with that dinosaur. Fun fact that I know. That's like the only fact that I remember, actually. <laughs> yeah. But now, when we talk about these, so these obviously not animatronic, right. but really tell a story when you look at the sheer height of it. You know, I'm 5'2", right. we're all actually kind of about the same size here. And how much I have to look up is that like 20 feet in the air with sure that? I mean that's sure. humongous but the lesson here is he was a predator how did he do what he did well it was his teeth his, 
So we have here about different predators, wolves. Sure. And oh, wow. what is it about predators? Well, their eyes are in different places. If you're prey, your eyes are on the side of your head because you need to look everywhere. But if you're a predator, your eyes are in the front. So this is about how were predators predators? I love like everywhere you look, there's like something kind of unexpected. Like yeah. I just looked up and I'm like, oh, there's, oh, another, yeah, there's another one. There's another one. It's really so amazing. And what are you hoping when, when families and I guess the school kids are going to be descending yeah. on this come September? What are you really hoping they get out of this experience? That's a great question because what we really want to come out of this is an appreciation for both living things and dinosaurs in terms of how they live and how, you know, on Long Island, we're very populated and there's so much wildlife. How do those animals live where they live? How do they adapt around us? And how do we live with them? It's so exciting. Yeah. And you're just now about to open and we're so excited to give you this exclusive look inside because... Rayanne, you outsourced yourself. Yeah. This is really impressive. Rayanne, like, how did you get, how did you get all of these things <laughs> right here? Because I know that they that they're really special. Like you were holding, I was holding dinosaur eggs. It's like I, I can't I, it get sounds them. like it's a joke. But yeah. that, that's like a real dinosaur egg. Yep, those were real eggs. Um, you know there are the the animatronic dinosaurs uh, come out of China. We put together ideas behind animals and dinosaurs that we thought would be great illustrators of how they lived. So I, you just think about it, you plan it, and I just can't wait to see those giggly faces uh, yes. come through. You know, those kids who come through and really love it. We're I going to come together. To reaction. Here are those dinosaur eggs that we were talking Whoa. about. Yeah, and we definitely want people to post the pictures, and if you, if you get to come out to share your experience with us, because we've just been wowed. But one of the great things about summertime is spending it outdoors, yes. but we want to make sure that we're safe in the sun and protected from all the bugs. Yes. So that's why we have Dr. P here. <laughs> I, need, I, I need major help, so this is my challenge of the summer. I'm going to be totally honest. Sometimes I don't even want to go outside on a beautiful day because of what it takes to put sunscreen on my two and three quarter year old. It's not fun. So what do we do to try to get them to cooperate? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so wrestling do you moves. want me to do tell you, know you the truth? Moves? Hold on. <laughs> okay, so That's first of all, wrestling, there are two things. This is my mantra. The best sunscreen is the one that they'll use. So you definitely have to try different formulations. And you think that they're different going on for kids? They but... are. They are. So you spread. This is Renna. She's nine, and she is our child okay. model. I'm not used <laughs> to having an arm that's still. I mean, Okay, so, so, so count much. when you do it. Go ahead, count. One, one two, two, three, three, four, five. What do you six, mean? How seven, eight, no. nine, ten. That's that, how much That's the right use. amount. And then we go ahead and we rub that in. Wait a second. Okay. <laughs> I definitely do not do that amount. I okay. only just found that out and I was like, okay. wait, that can't be right. Yeah. Well, it is. So <laughs> mine comes out white and not that's not like that. Okay. okay. Same thing. Okay, same idea though. Same idea. So these this is one that would be a cream. Right. And the whole entire body gets this? Yes. Yeah, so one to two ounces for a, a grown, you know, for an adult and then about an ounce for a child. So I really believe in safety and I know you have an infant, so we yes. can talk about that for a minute. Um, I'm very, I, I'm really pushing towards mineral blocks and these actually right here. And it right says here. it, I'm sorry, yes. I feel like I thought I knew a lot about sunscreen right. and I suddenly feel like I know nothing. Right, so when we talk about organic or we talk about physical sunscreens, it's anything that has zinc, titanium, or both. So that's what you, you should be looking at for the active ingredient. So this one says zinc oxide. Right, so these that's are all zinc lot. oxide and these right here are zinc and titanium. And okay. these are your picks, these are your, what yes. you recommend. Yeah, these right. two are my actual ones from my <laughs> Okay. So they look like this, so those are probably the don't do. There are a couple of other <laughs> ones that I like. I mean, if you're an internet shopper and you like to buy something online, I mean, the Blue Lizard is terrific. California oh. Baby, which we were talking about a little I never earlier, even heard of that that's gluten-free. So and a lot of my patients like ask about that. Right? Yes, but uh -huh. if you go to a pharmacy, you're going to find these. This is it. Okay. And now, what's the difference between this and this? Like a 50 and a 60. Right. right. So basically, these are physical blockers, and that's really about the same. This one has zinc and titanium. It's a little more elegant to the touch. We could try it on Rena's arm if you want. Okay. Yeah. But Let's does the number matter? So the number, um, anything above a 30 is good, but the higher the SPF, the better. Okay. So You're this one be is awesome zinc. This is zinc and titanium. So look how nice that rubs in. Oh. That really rubs and in pretty well. And it does start out kind of white, but right. then it really does go away, and you just have like a little glow shit. My kids look like they're covered in white paint when they go out. Oh. I guess. That's <laughs> <a good laughs> well, yeah. that's why I have to say some people do like Blue Lizard, especially children, because it does come out blue. Oh. 
Okay, so now fun. I know which one I'm getting. Yeah. I, I might, that's how we and got then, back into the bath, by making a blue bath. Right, so, I think so maybe here you go. Screen, it might work. Right, and then you don't miss a spot. And that was one of the things is that we are missing a lot of spots because right. you're a dermatologist, you right. see this in the office. Right. What are the most missed spots? Um, so the most missed spots, top of the head, <laughs> back of the ears, back of the neck, tops of the feet. Don't forget those spots. And what about if your kid is complaining like that, it hurts? Right, so as soon as that happens, do not talk talk them through it. You have to, you know, immediately go wash it off with cold water. Because what is it, a reaction? So it can be an irritant contact dermatitis, that's what it's called. Wow. So then you have to use like a healing ointment, something like Aquaphor or CeraVe healing ointment. That works really well. Um, you can add a mild cortisone over the counter, but that's a contact dermatitis. So. Now, my sunscreen will say like, oh, save for the water. But that doesn't mean like when they get out, I don't have to reapply, right? You must reapply. So what you do is, is you take them out of the sun immediately. Don't let them dry. Wait, after how long? So wait, how long? How long before going out do you put it on? And then when do you reapply? So 20 minutes before you go outside. Okay. Reapply when you get right out of the water or if you're sweating profusely. And if not, every two hours. But when you reapply it, it should be in the shade. Okay. And then they can't go right back in the pool, No, right? 15 so minutes. 15, 20 minutes. So should they be dry when you reapply it? Sorry, Absolutely. I have a lot of questions. Right. So pat dry them and then reapply. And you were saying set your cell phone alarm so you know it's time That's to reapply. Right. So every two hours. So set it, and then and that's you're going to say, like, listen, the alarm's going off. That's it. If you want to keep playing outside, you got to put it back on. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Dr. P said so. Okay. Now, what about hats and, like, sun shirts? Wait, so this so says it has a 50 plus. So do I need to put sunscreen on underneath that, that before right. I put it on my daughter? Right. So sunscreen doesn't block out every single ray. So rash guards and sun protective clothing like this is perfect. So what but I tell you need it underneath. Yes. First? So oh. when you're disrobed before you put your sun your uh, your swimsuit on, that's the time to put sunblock on. That's actually when I put mine on as well. And then I put my swimsuit on on top. So that way you don't miss a spot. You don't miss right? a spot. Yep. That's so this part. is not like it's instead, instead of. of no, it's oh. in addition to. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, let's switch to the bugs. Oh, I have okay. So this is like a major <laughs> argument in my house. I go outside in my yard and I am covered with bites. My husband goes outside, does not get one, and thinks I'm being dramatic, but I swear they find me. Yes, they love some. And of my us. kids too. They yes. must have like my skin. And mine always blood. swell up. Like I'm yes. not like a normal bug bite person. I'm like a swollen bug bite person. <laughs> you didn't know this was like a full this consulting a appointment therapy. for, for a water problem. Yeah. So in general, bites are harmless. In general, but of course we know that they, um, you know, they can give certain diseases, but Zika, why? you know, West yes. Nile, yeah. Lyme. We know these things. Yeah. So we definitely have to protect ourselves. Um, the FDA says that DEET is safe in children um, three years old and up, but if you don't want to use DEET, you don't have to, you could use things like Picaridin or oil of lemon eucalyptus, so those are also mm. other companies. But these two companies are pretty good and they have a variety of so these this three is products I told like you about. A hike, yeah, so and that's like I'm hanging in the back. Right. Oh, so if you're, off. Yeah, so <laughs> off is great because this has seven percent deed. So that's if your child is or, or you're outside for about an hour or two. But if you're going camping, you probably want something that has thirty or forty percent deed in it. And then how soon do I need to like wash it off? Like right. So as soon as you get in. Right. So oh. um, so sunblock always. So I just want to remind everyone, sunblock goes on first and liberally and often every two hours. Insect repellent once. And when? And after the sunblock dries, the clothing is on. Another nice thing that I tell patients to do is actually pre-treat their clothing with the insect repellent. So you just spray their clothing on the outside, let it dry for a little bit, like you know, an hour or so, and then you can put the clothing on. So is that something you could do for a baby if you don't want to put the... Right, so for a baby, there are a lot of things you could do. Actually, you can make your own insect repellent if you like. Can you make it and I pick it up? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yes. So mix a little <laughs> lavender oil. Say, I, I, will make my, I will make it. I will make it. <laughs> you will make it for your baby. I will do anything. I'll do anything for That's that baby. Right. That's right. So you can mix a little lavender oil with distilled water. I know this sounds funny, but about an ounce of vodka, Ooh, and you could shake it up and spray <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah, I, I never ever heard that. that. I will, and I will do that. All right. So this way we can enjoy the outdoors. And if you want more tips, we're going to put a whole bunch of information up on news12.com. I think we need some of this. Like, I think we're <laughs> we need all of this right now. Thank you. Thank you.